And we are back with Professor Avram Ehrlich. Measurement of 10 people towards a great social challenge is an, an algorithm of the biblical thinkers. Whether it was inspired by early or pre-Pythagorean mathematics or by the idea of the digits of the hand, the representation of the mind and the soul and the human biological entity in the world that made it so obvious that with ten, one manages, even abstractly, just as with ten, one would use to organize our intellectual volume, our hands organize our physical volume. Ten was the number that the biblical patriarch Abraham argued with God was the basis of a righteous community that deserved life. He said, surely there are ten righteous people in that city, do not destroy them. The idea of ten being the foundations and the legitimacy, the potential, legitimacy, the value of creative life is embedded in the biblical thinking, which suggests that the biblical thinking at its core was deeply scientific or intuitively scientific. That on one hand it accepted the great ideas of science that preceded the biblical thinkers in Babylon and in Egypt and in other places, but that it would be it would be crystallized or be it be brought down to a human and interhuman and a skill building framework sustainable for groups or humanity possibly one of humanity's greatest errors is to deviate from the group of ten and the structure of ten. And that that very error occurred in another time in history, in the story of Samuel, where Samuel warns Israel, do not put upon yourself a king. The king will take your wealth. The king will take your horses. The king will take your daughters. The king will take the things that you treasure. And he suggested an alternative measure, an alternative viable reality, which was around small groups and creativity and judges and law providing a framework, a fertile scaffolding and framework of measuredness on which the human imagination and genius can spread in a systemized an organized and fair way. The very structures that have led to our great success as humans, the very structures of law, of corporate law, of contracts, which have allowed for groups to build and to expand and to string together in large corporations where People can be in charge, not of tens or hundreds of thousands or hundreds of thousands, but of millions, of tens of millions of people. That structure seems to be put into question in the biblical idea of what is a perfect society. And it is definitely debated and Perhaps there is a role for both systems, a dialectic between these two. But certainly there is a place for ten, and the structure of ten, and the emanation of ten, 
and laws and and organization of people towards their problems and towards their group goals and their shared small structured imagination can be organized and systemized and refined in structures of ten.